Hey everybody, Jared back once again. So yes, Sandage Mod 10.1 Nightly is finally out. It wasn't that long ago that unofficial builds have been released for uh, various devices out there. However, early, early this morning, or by the time you might be watching this, it could be early, early yesterday morning. <laughs> um, the CM team and friends finally released the official nightlies for Sandage Mod 10.1 for actually a handful of devices. And among those handful of devices happened to be the Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. So, of course, I decided to take it upon myself, download it, flash it, and start figuring out some of the bugs, read the forums, the comments, yada, yada, yada. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, this isn't going to be a review video because it's impossible to review something that isn't finished yet or even close to being finished yet. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and start out with the lock screen here. Um, you'll notice with that CRT off animation now, I don't know if this is just due to it being a nightly, but it doesn't seem the same. I'll do that a couple more times here. You'll notice that animation, that CRT off animation, just isn't the same as what I'm used to. You know, the little beep, beep. Do you like my sound effects? Anyways, so uh, as well as it being Android 4.2.1 or even just Android 4.2, we do have our lock screen widgets. Awesome! I've wanted lock screen widgets for so long. And we do have the camera application as default. Go ahead and slide over to the camera application. Leave it there. One second delay. Bloop! Jumps right into the camera application. For some reason, it's acting a little bit buggy right now. And it usually just jumps right into it. So I'm not too sure what the heck's going on here. But that is obviously a work in progress. Um, furthermore, from there, I have actually been noticing a lot of um, it, it looking for a GPS signal, which seems to be strange. That's probably going to affect the battery life. So if you're looking for a 100% stable daily driver ROM this is not for you however if you do know how to do the little workarounds for little bugs here and there this might be something um, with that said it's got a small list of um, bugs that need to be worked on such as a couple of issues with the camera that being one the video recording uh, effects is broken as well as using your touch to focus while the light is enabled um, that will or, or is broken as well um, also something that I noticed and some other users are reporting is switching between the front facing camera to the rear facing camera and vice versa there seems to be a bit of a hang time um, in addition to that also two more things um, one the Netflix app launches however video streaming doesn't work and the YouTube app does work so I'm not really sure what's going on there with the video streaming why one app works over over the other but nevertheless that's something else also using at this time uh, a third-party launcher is just not an option I mean they work they run but um, you'll notice all kinds of strange artifacts and things that are just going all mucked up and your folders folders don't work properly and so on um, but other than that the ROM is extremely smooth it's extremely solid for the most part um, pretty much everything works some of the issues like um, having to you know, uh, reboot your device in order to hang up a phone call. Um, that's gone. Phone calls work now, um, which is nice, you know, which is nice. Also, you'll notice again, like, God, why is it still looking? Oh, location set by GPS. It keeps um, looking for GPS f for me anyways, um, which is strange. But anyways, uh, other than that, like I said, um, everything else seems pretty good. Uh, we've been running the ROM now for mm, a couple of hours, maybe four or five hours, and we're now at 78%, and I've been doing nothing but mucking around with the device. So moderate usage. Um, very little battery drain even with the constant um, uh, searching for GPS every now and then see why the hell is that still showing up like shouldn't that be going away you know what I mean anyways um, so what else uh, let's check out some cool stuff so of course we do have our new notification pull down and with Cyanogen Mod 10 we actually saw that we can pl click on the uh, uh, time there up at the top left hand corner you've got access to the new Android 4.2 clock application starting out with the timer your clock complete with alarms that you can select there and slide over to the right one more in time and we've got our elapsed timer as well um, furthermore pulling down you can still use your two finger to pull down that'll access your quick panels um, or you could um, if you wanted to this is actually a setting which I thought was really cool that I found um, you can actually use the top right hand corner of your display Use your thumb to swipe down and it brings up your quick settings instead of having to um, use your two finger or even just the one finger and then switch over to your quick panel settings like that. Um, that's kind of neat. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, you can actually also activate if you prefer the toggle widgets or the widget toggles power widget thingy. 
me for the notification panel as well, although the theming doesn't seem to be um, working all that well right now with the hollow and the blue and all that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the wallpapers here. Uh, you've got those Sanish Mod wallpapers. A lot of them we've seen carry over from previous builds of Sanish Mod uh, with uh, a couple of additions, I believe. And yep, so that's cool. Uh, is there anything else new? Let's check out wallpapers and we'll click on the actual application itself there. And I think a lot of these are the 4.2 um, wallpapers. So uh, a lot of you guys like those. Figured I'd show those to you. Um, what else do we have to show you? Um, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if this does have the photosphere for the camera. Um, it actually doesn't. For some reason, the camera isn't launching right now which is obviously a bug. 90% um, of the time it seems to be working just fine, so uh, just force closed on me there. Um, but unfortunately, Photosphere was not included in this nightly. I'm sure it'll be coming out soon, so just stay tuned for that. If you absolutely must have Photosphere, there are um, APKs or zips that you can flash in your recovery, and that'll add it, and you should be good to go. Um, with this being 4.2 in the download section of the thread, I'll be posting a link in the about section below for um, right underneath the download for the there will actually be G apps, the latest G apps for Android 4.2. Now make sure that you don't use that 4.2, those 4.2 uh, G apps package on 4.1 ROMs. Otherwise, you'll run into all sorts of issues. Just to kind of throw that out there. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, nothing really. A whole ton of stuff I can show you. Um, because if any of you are familiar with Sanjin Mod, you're probably familiar with Sanjin Mod 10, and pretty much everything's the same. Um, you know, you've got your different launcher options for the um, Trebuchet Launcher 0.2 uh, system, of course. Uh, one thing we just uh, we kind of snuck past security there. Um, face lock. It, uh, face unlock is working, however, it doesn't seem to be quite optimized as of yet. It, it just looks really, really messed up and doesn't recognize as quickly in lower light situ situations versus um, other Android builds. But anyways, uh, you can mess around with that yourself. Uh, in here, you've got things such as, well, you've got status bar stuff, which is standard Sanage and mod. Uh, of course, now though, with Android 4.2, we've got our quick panel settings here, so you've got some different options in here. You can change around those tiles and the layout of them and add or remove, although there doesn't seem to be as many options for the tiles in quick settings panel um, as uh, say for instance the toggles power toggle widget for just your standard notification pull down there uh, which I thought was kind of strange um, get back out of there you get your power menu some different options in there all standard sandwich and mod stuff that you would expect um, I'm not a hundred percent sure or not but I think there might be an addition uh, or some additions I'm sorry to the uh, ringtones as well as notifications uh, so keep that in mind if you are looking for some different cool new sounds um, anything else that we've got here that's new to CM10? I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. We'll jump into about phone here. As you can see here, we are running it on the GTI 9300 version Android, or Android version 4.2.1. Um, it's using the uh, 0.31 kernel. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to be updated or if it's going to be updated again. I'm sure it will, though, of course. Um, and you can see the build date, which is today, December 17th, the date of me recording this, and the build number, that long string down there. Uh, backing out of there, oh, while we're here, one thing I did want to point out is that um, uh, you're going to notice the super user force closing right away um, if you try to install anything that requires root privileges. So what you're going to do is head on over on XDA, find Chain Fire's Super SU post, download the recovery flashable dot zip. Don't even bother trying to uninstall uh, super user from with the device itself. Just f flash super U, uh, super SU over it. It'll work out fine. Reboot the device. You should be good to go, and you'll be able to use Titanium Backup and all those other applications that require root pl uh, privileges. Um, what else can I show you here? Uh, of course, because it's Android 4.2, we do have the 4.2 um, uh, keyboard here, so you can do the little swipe thing, you know, the one that Google ripped off from the swipe folks. Uh, anyways, uh, what else can I show you? Oh, yes, long pressing the home button to bring up all the recent tasks. As you can see, we've got all of our recent tasks here. You can still swipe them away like you normally would, but check out this cool new animation. What? What? I know, pretty sweet, right? So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for now. There's going to be a bunch of other stuff that's going to start coming out, obviously, as new Nightlies comes out. Um, it becomes more and more stable, other uh, kernels that are available for it, and so on. Um, I'm not going to do a super long, extensive 15, 20-minute review of this because it's just not ready yet. But anyways, guys, um, if I've missed anything new in Android 4.2.1, Sanage Mod 10.1 more specifically, um, leave them in the comments below for other people to find out and discover on their own. Uh, let me know what your favorite 
favorite feature of Sanage Mod 10.1 is, if you've tried it already, even just Android 4.2.1 in general, what you're looking forward to is the uh, lock screen widgets, is it Photosphere, what is it? I'm interested in knowing, is it even maybe the um, quick settings uh, panel here, that's just pretty cool. Um, let me know in the comments below, also... Uh, if you like this video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. I try to have videos out five days a week. Um, if you want to, you can also make sure you stay up to date on every single video of mine uh, by following me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Plus. Link, uh, Google+, Plus Plus. Links can be found in the About section down below as, long as, as well as the thread to this ROM here. That's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.